Hello, my name is Peter Smith and I work as a field engineer at ExxonMobil Fuels and Lubricants. The proper lubrication of electric motor bearings is essential to ensure effective maintenance and to enable optimum performance and reduce downtime. Today I will be talking you through some of the key considerations for selecting the correct grease for your operation and ensuring best practice application. Greases have varying in properties which are designed to ensure that they can best operate under certain conditions. To select the right grease, it is essential to consider the conditions under which your bearing will operate. Think about motor speed, load level, ambient temperature and the type and size of bearing. The first factor to keep in mind when selecting a grease is the base oil viscosity. This should be appropriate for the load and speed of the application at operating temperature and will help to ensure maximum protection and component life. Your electric motor builder may provide a specific recommendation on the viscosity required, but generally a lower viscosity is recommended for electric motor applications due to the high speeds required. Grease consistency is a further factor that must be analysed. Thickener type should be selected based on performance requirements as well as compatibility when considering changing product types. Each thickener brings certain performance benefits affecting elements such as water resistance, pumpability and ability to operate in high temperature conditions. For electric motor applications it is recommended to use a grease with an appropriate consistency such as Mobile Polyrex EM in order to hold the grease in place. Ahead of applying a new grease, thoroughly clean or flush out the previous grease from the bearing. This avoids compatibility issues and helps ensure that the new grease can perform at an optimum level. Determining the correct amount of grease for an electric motor bearing is one of the most important steps in initial greasing and in re-greasing of the bearings. An insufficient amount of grease could lead to bearing failure due to lack of lubrication. On the other hand, over lubrication can also lead to bearing failure and cause problems due to migration of the lubricants into the windings. When applying grease, it is important to understand the recommendations from the original equipment manufacturer. Bearing manufacturers frequently recommend the amount of grease to apply to a bearing by weight or volume. The grease gun can be calibrated by counting the number of shots to dispense a known amount of grease. During application, firstly check the amount of grease in the bearing by removing the fitting or grease plug and see if any grease is released. Then check the bearings and seals for any excess leakages. Remember that a bearing should never be more than two thirds full, leaving one third air space to allow for optimal operation. The base oil used in electric motor greases can be mineral or synthetic. However, more advanced synthetic base oils may be needed where motors are exposed to very low ambient temperatures or when there is significant vibration within the application's operating environment. For example, Mobile Polyrex EM series is formulated using a proprietary polyurea thickener. As a result, it is able to withstand degradation under high temperatures and speed. It can also help to increase equipment protection, extend re-lubrication intervals and reduce maintenance costs. With companies under increasing pressure to reduce costs and increase productivity, the emphasis on care and maintenance of equipment is rising. Part of that maintenance involves choosing the right grease. For that reason, it's important to choose an experienced grease supplier who has the technical expertise to help you select the optimum grease for your operation. Thanks for watching.